Growers of seed corn are feeling the same impact of the heat and lack of rain as anyone else. And if the crop is not under pivot, the prospects are not good. Farm Director Al Pell takes a closer look in analysis. Richard Brock, Brock Associates is our guest here on Ag Day. And Richard, one of the things that I was thinking about as we've been doing some of our interviews, and that is the cost of producing a crop. And I'm talking about inputs. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a crop. It also be livestock or whatever. It costs more than it used to. Yeah, and, and that's going to continue to go up, I'm afraid. It, it was interesting. About uh, three weeks ago, Al, we sent out a uh, what we call a, a Brock Electronics Seminar. It's a PowerPoint we sent over to, okay. to our clients. And we, to talk more specifically about marketing strategies and outlook. And in one of the slides, I, I, I mentioned that we probably will see corn, plant corn acres uh, jump from the current 95 and a half, or say 96 and a half million acres up to at least 98 million acres uh, next uh, spring. And uh, uh, one of our, our farmer customers in Illinois sent me an email back and he said, you know, where do you think you're going to get the seed corn to plant 98 million acres of corn? Because he said, where we are, the seed corn crop looks horrific. And it does in most parts of Indiana too. Uh, there's some better looking seed corn crops in Iowa. And so we know the seed corn crop is going to be down here, but we also know uh, that seed companies always go down and grow it That's in right. the off season in, in South America. So, you know, I'm not concerned about having uh, ample seed to plant next year's crop, it'll cost but more. it's going to cost more. Also, you're going to see an increased demand for fertilizer and thus increased prices of fertilizer. And, uh, you know, the only thing that could slow that down is the volatility of the energy markets, which uh, has been all over everywhere uh, in, in recent weeks. If, if energy prices continue lower, then your cost of producing uh, some forms of fertilizer are going to be less, particularly anhydrous ammonia uh, and nitrogen. But if you don't see a further break in the energy market, then and, and combined with the demand that we're seeing in fertilizer right now, uh, going into uh, this fall, we could see some higher fertilizer prices. So, you know, we're, we told our, our clients a few weeks ago to, you know, go ahead and get their fertilizer needs and their diesel fuel needs locked in because, you know, I, I think it's a very hard market to predict, but I make a decision like that based, you know, what's my potential of it getting cheaper versus my risk of it getting higher? It might get a little bit cheaper, but I think I have more risk on the upside than I do potential on the downside. So when I'm facing a, with a business decision like that, I just go ahead and buy it and say, if it gets a little bit cheaper, so what? I don't want to run the risk of this thing spiking to the upside. Doesn't sound like anything's going to go down at all. Uh, eventually it will. It eventually. always does. But. <laughs> okay. Richard Brock, Brock Associates, our guest here on Ag Day. Back for more in a moment. For a free three-week trial to the Brock Report, call 1-800-558-3431. See for yourself why thousands of farmers subscribe to The Brock Report.